Welcome back to our lesson on the nervous system. In this video, we will talk about the primary cell of the nervous system, the neuron. We will talk about the structure of neurons and also how they come together to form an entire network of nerve cells. Great, so let's begin. The neuron is a very fascinating and vital portion of the nervous system because it allows the nervous system to communicate with the rest of the body. The structure of the neuron offers key features to help it transmit messages across relatively long distances. To begin, the neuron has a cell body, which is also known as the soma, and which houses the cell nucleus. Next are the dendrites, which are tree-like branches that extend off of the soma. These are used by the neuron to detect both chemical and electrical stimuli. In the center of the neuron is the axon. The axon is the longest extension from the soma and can be up to a meter in length. It serves as the primary communication pipeline from one end of the neuron to the other. The axon hillock is the junction that connects the axon to the cell body. Covering the axon are myelin sheaths. Myelin sheaths are sections of fatty tissue that help to protect the axon and also help to speed up signal conduction along the axon. The gaps between myelin sheaths are called the nodes of Ranvier. These also aid in signal conduction and they also allow nutrients and waste to enter and leave the axon. Finally, at the end of the axon are extensions that branch off to form several axon terminals. Now that we've covered the structure of the neuron, let's talk about how neurons come together to form a nerve cell network. Remember, neurons are supposed to send messages to each other, but how exactly does this happen? Message transmission happens at the synapse, or synaptic cleft, which is the junction between one neuron's axon terminals and another neuron's dendrites. This is the special area where chemical and electrical neurotransmitters are released and are picked up by the dendrites of the recipient nerve cell. As neurons pass information to the central nervous system, our body then interprets these messages as sights, sounds, aromas, and other sensations that allow us to observe the world around us. This concludes our discussion of the neuron. Thank you for watching.